So basically this is our badminton video and yes. we're going to have a small reflection on what we did during the training. So basically during the game, I was an active listener when I constantly listened to Ken's constructive criticism on our teamwork and formation. So we have gotten better at areas that we are bad at, like defending and moving around quickly, like through training programs. Mm. Yeah, most of, the, most of the time, I also show leadership to make important decisions about our training programs and badminton skills. As I had more physical experience, both of, both of us also listened actively when the other person spoke to have better teamwork in the game and improve more on our weaknesses. Um, so in addition, like when some people gave us feedback, like we constantly listen, and this is the most in important interpersonal skill in our uh, entire uh, training session. So uh, it is active listening. So through active listening, we can gain valuable feedback on our performance by other people like our teacher, Mr. King, and like other people that can give us feedback. Yeah. When someone else is giving us feedback, we try to concentrate and understand on what important things that like we could have made and tried, uh, important things. And then we could have made and tried to discuss on how to do that mistake, how to, how not, how to not do that mistake next time. So um, in addition, like um, training plan that we have is like very good and accurate. So the training plan that Ken prepared for me was very specific at this as it targeted specific skills that I would need to practice on in badminton or whatever I was bad at um, through like workouts that slowly increase in intensity. So I also like the part where at the end we would practice on a different skill that we would need for the game later. Even true, I'm, I'm better at physical activity compared to my partner. I'm still new to badminton, so training plan for me was mainly focused on difficult skill, different skills that need to play better, like smash, net, drop shot, and more. This is good because I can ex uh, practice the correct technique for each of the game, or each of the skills. Um. So, however, both of us have um some changes that we would like to do with our training plan to make it better next time if we have another badminton um game. So, in my opinion, my training plan for Ken um should. Uh, I mean that my training plan that Ken prepared for me should include more agility and strength exercises as well as like training on other specific skills and strategies that I could use. So this is because sometimes I feel that I could not move quickly enough to defend against the shots of the opponents. So, yeah. Yeah, for the, the training, I will, change the, I will change the physical ability training and then uh, training plan to include more technique training since my partner has already improved on physical abilities such as stamina, shifting body, and reacting shuttle. The new training would focus on the accuracy of receiving the shuttle. In my opinion, my partner lose more points by missing more than error in defending. Those from the other team, ah uh, yeah. Therefore, by changing training plan ability, plan ability to include more accuracy training would give us higher chance to win the game so um 
but we think that our training plan is quite effective as both of us have um, been better compared to like when we started playing badminton because in my opinion it's like it's able to target specific problems that we had to solve and uh, we can do this through workouts so in my opinion the training plan was also important for our progress to become better at badminton because it helped us build the skills to defend against the opponent's attacks so I also found out that I would not become easily tired uh, after powerful shots, like after smashing, compared to when I first started playing badminton. I felt that during the badminton games, we gradually were able to play better and win more skills, uh, with, with more skills. However, we should focus on more badminton skills needed to play better. Luckily, looking into techniques to train, train muscle and strength so both of us can have powerful shots like smashing. Uh, okay, so this is the end of our video and thank you. Bye-bye